Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you three clips to watch, which will highlight to you, if you need it highlighting that is, the damage that um, CRT, you know what CRT is, critical race theory, the damage it does not only to society, but the outcomes it leads to the absurdities the stupidity the celebration of bizarre cult-like destructive behavior and that is precisely what we're going to watch in this video we have two clips that show that in its entirety there are thousands of them online of course but these are just some of the more newer fresher ones and then at the end we are going to watch one final clip, clip sorry, from New York City, which highlights the damage that is done to minorities when the real issues are abandoned and in their place they have a label stamped with CRT put in its place. So let's get into these clips now, but if you haven't yet, please like the video if you find it informative, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the video around that's a big one that really helps us out because the hogcast is shadow banned we are deboosted and demonetized so we don't get recommended anymore we are conservative commentators and as such we are not welcome on this amazing platform that it is um, and let me know what you think down below okay let's go okay so this is the first clip this is a woman who is well steeped in cultural Marxism and critical race theory and she wants you to know that if you happen to go out in the sun and get a tan you are therefore by definition uh ism an ist and a phobe hey it's that time of year again where white people can't wait to get really tan and y latinos también bronceaditos quemaditos if you're a white person you can't wait to get super tan and you can't say black lives matter and you're not an ally and you can't stand for your black, brown, indigenous, people of color, friends, and family, then do everyone a favor and tanning is not for you. So, thank you. This is what critical race theory leads to. You have to be well steeped in cultural Marxism and CRT in order to say something as stupid as that. This woman here, who seemed white to me, she is equating the concept of getting a tan with being another race okay this is the definition of a racist okay because she only sees in skin color that's all she sees she literally is judging people by their immutable characteristics anyone knows that an ethnicity a culture is more than just skin okay cultures and ethnicities have much more to them than just color only a racist sees in just color right for example a very well tanned person would have a kind of a a bronze glow to them when you get tanned you do not turn into an african when you get tanned you do not go black okay if anything you should be a supporter of greek lives matter or italian lives matter because when a white person gets tanned they look far more like someone from the mediterranean italy greece spain than someone from the congo or zimbabwe okay let's watch again because i need you to fully absorb the stupidity of this person because only through CRT can you develop such a backwards nonsensical and irrational opinion as what she is about to tell you hey it's that time of year again where white people can't wait to get really tan and y latinos también bronceaditos quemaditos if you're a white person you can't wait to get super tan and you can't say black lives matter and you're not an ally and you can't stand for your 
black, brown, indigenous, people of color, friends, and family, then do everyone a favor and tanning is not for you. This is, if they get their own way, and you know that conservatism, republicanism, is being rooted out in all public sector um, institutions, even the military now, that should worry you, right? That should worry you, that the military has been politicized. That is just the next step on the road to civil war. Unfortunately, I'm not, right? Look, I don't want it to be the case. Nobody wants that. But when a country's military gets uh, politicized, the military itself is going to take the side of one group and they're going to go after the other group. That's never been a good thing for anybody. Trust me. And if you don't trust me, if you don't want to take my word for it, by all means don't. Go and look at a history book. Look through history what happens when a military gets politicized. But look, I'm going off on a tangent here. It's not just the military that's been politicized. Everything has, right? So the world, according to her and the people who think like her, is that if you can't say BLM, you should be forbidden from getting a tan. That's essentially what she's saying. That tanning isn't for you unless you utter the political slogans that we want you to utter, okay? Who's going to enforce that? Certainly not her, who could enforce that, for example, a politicized military. They very much could, if it comes down to it, enforce CRT diktats like that. Okay, so we have the second thing, uh, the second clip, which highlights the um, absurdity of CRT and what it makes people do what it turns people into the woman you saw in the other clip she looked white to me even though i believe she was speaking at one point spanish i'm guessing she was doing that for her um cultural appropriation points this is another white person here who this is what it's come down to right this person believes that what they are doing here has value that this is somehow valuable to society right to critical race theory i'm sure it's applaudable but to people with a brain people with a soul people who with a spine even this just beyond abhorrent it's ridiculous anyway take a look mm, nothing like entitled white male for breakfast here i come motherfucker you aren't going to be eating anyone for breakfast okay it would have to take the combined forces of a politicized military to tie up the people you are threatening in this case straight white males they would have to be tied up completely unable to defend themselves before someone like you whatever you are i can't tell if that's a man or a woman I can't tell what it is. Um, it just looks like a, a living, a donut with a face. It looks like a donut and a clown had a baby. And the result is this. It looks like that donut shaped thing is the asshole of critical race theory. And he is being shat out from it. Or maybe it's the asshole of CRT and he's sticking his head into it because he loves it that much. He, she, it, I don't know what it is. This person is well steeped in Marxism, critical race theory. And as such, this person believes that this display, this self-flagellation, this show of devotion to crt is valuable to society that's why he's taken the time to record it that's why he's uploaded it because he thinks he actually thinks that you need to see this he actually thinks he will be rewarded 
all this. So let's, it was only a short clip, let's watch again. Mmm, nothing like entitled white male for breakfast. Here I come, motherfucker! <laughs> Four years of university. I would bet this guy has gone to university without a shadow of a doubt. He didn't leave school and join the military. He didn't leave school and go into a trade school or just straight into a job. This guy went to university. I believe that without a shadow of a doubt. He didn't study engineering. He didn't study medicine or anything like that. He studied gender studies or CRT. But I believe something along those lines. Look at his stupid face. Look at how happy he is with himself. Look at how pleased he is. This is his moment. This is his time to shine on the critical race theory uh, stage. This is it. This is the moment he's been waiting for. He prepared for this his whole life. And this was his moment. Uh, I've just realised, actually, that he's not even dressed as a donut. I think he's dressed as a... Um, I thought that was a donut. I believe he's actually dressed as a... Vi <laughs> I believe he's actually dressed as a virus. Let's put it on mute and play again. Yeah, he is. I believe that is. You see, that is uh, almost like life imitating art because this guy is a virus, right? He is a virus that can infect the minds of previously perfectly intelligent people. He is... This is life in t imitating art, really. And this is a perfect example of it. Anyway, let's move on. So whilst the first two clips were shockingly silly, amusing, uh, depressing maybe, uh, worrying, um, bizarre, this clip is more of a uh, proponent of what happens when you allow the sycophants and the people who wax lyrical about the new woke religion to have their way for too long joseph stalin once said that um one uh, victim of murder is a tragedy a million is a statistic and what you see in new york city the amount of people who have fallen victim to violent crime is so great that they are no longer considered tragic uh, sorry they're no longer considered tragedies they're now considered statistics really they've literally became statistics you don't hear their names uh, because they don't fit the narrative but the woke brigade war on police has resulted in countless victims becoming uh countless people sorry becoming victims of violent crime and most of them are of course from ethnic minority backgrounds this is the effect that woke white liberals have the real effect so this is new york city an elderly man he's a minority is attacked by another minority man much younger no one's there to help him because everyone hates the police now let's take a look so it's a CCTV camera, so it's got no sound. You can see him threatening him. Much older man with a walking stick, a cane. Steals his cane and runs off. The thing is, you see this guy here, the guy doing the attacking, the younger man. He is, if you questioned him... He would be one of the people who says, we need to defund the police. Do you think he's doing that for you? Or do you think he's doing that to get off of the crime he committed? The elderly guy with the walking stick, the cane, he would be one of the minorities who want the police, who need the police, because they want to feel secure in their own neighbourhoods. What a coincidence. One of them wants to defund or even abolish the police, and the other one doesn't. What a coincidence. So, 
I don't know what it was about, but the only thing he seems to have got gotten away with is the old man's uh, walking stick. I believe in the United States you call them canes. We call them walking sticks here. So this is in a store, a local corner shop. The elderly man gets struck. And his cane gets stolen. See, the, the, the guys at the end, I don't understand why. These guys here, who are just stood doing nothing. Why they suddenly jump into action when the guy's running away? Why don't you stop him from striking the old man? Even a weak, half-hearted strike as that could seriously hurt an elderly man. And look, the fall to the ground would do even worse. Horrendous behaviour. Horrendous behaviour. So that's the video. This is the effects of CRT. The, the effect it has on the minds of woke types and the effect it has in the neighbourhoods predominantly minority where it encourages people to hate white police officers um, encourages them to support the concept of abolishing the police which results in things like this but hey, according to Joseph Stalin who was also a communist much like the modern woke millennials they're just statistics aren't they no tragedies they're just statistics anyway look i'll see you in the next one if you haven't yet please like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let me know what you think down below in the comment section you can also share this video around social media friends and normies we are shadow banned demonetized and reduced we are conservative commentators and as such we are not welcome on this amazing platform. YouTube's a great place. I love YouTube, but we're just not we're not welcome here because we go against the woke orthodoxy. See you in the next one. Goodbye.